Hi guys. Oh, I was covering the mic. Sorry. If you didn't hear that, then I just, I just said hello. Uh, there we go. That's that's more attractive. Oh wait. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, today I'm feeling poorly. Like like awful. Like like. Huh. It's hard for me to move even like, sometimes. Like right now. Ow. Like it lasts for a couple seconds at a time. But um anyway yeah and don't judge my hair. Okay. I was trying to make it like super duper curly and I. I did a ton of fishtail braids. Turns out, if you do fishtail braids, it makes you look like Taylor Swift. Heh, <laughs> heh. Um, so, yeah, I'm not feeling well. At all. And, um, so, yeah. But, uh, my cat is here with me. She's being the sweetheart that she is. And so, I thought that I would tell you the story of my cat, Madison. So, let me show you her first. Here she is. The sweetie pie that she is. It's here for me. Um, so, on my uh, last channel, back on a cutesy bunny, um, I made one or two videos with my cat, Vanity. And, uh, you know, the big, white, fluffy cat, Himalayan. Um, and what happened to her was back about three years ago. About three, maybe two, two or three years ago. Um, she was having trouble breathing and she wasn't eating. Uh, she was just sleeping all day. And I should sit up. Oh, <laughs> that's attractive. But, um, yeah, she was just sleeping all day. And, uh, so we took her to the vet, and, uh, it turns out that she had tumors growing around her throat, and so they're squeezing her windpipe, and she was, she was like, she was like 13 years old, so she was pretty old for a cat, so it was, it was her time, and, uh, so, so we had to put her to sleep, and we put her to sleep, and then we buried her, and, uh, yeah. And I, I miss her so much. Um, and then and then we got Axel. So we had Axel and Ted for a while. Ted's the brown, black, and white cat. Siamese, American, short hair mix. Um, <laughs> not to get into technicalities or anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, so, so then we got Axel. And Axel was around not for not even a year. Like, he was there from November to June. Like, the day, the last day of school was when he disappeared. And, um, so, November to June. And, because he just disappeared out of the blue. And then, um, we got this little girl, Madison. And, uh, we, we got her, we got her from an animal, sh animal shelter. We got Axel from a pet shop. Because he was free with a bag of kitten food, so... Thought why not? We need we needed a cat to get Ted's um, happiness level up because he was really depressed after Vanity passed, and um, so and we we got her at an animal shelter, and um, so we we walked into the place the room where they're keeping all the cats, and um, so I turned the corner, and I, I went there looking for a female cat who was orange and had white paws, who had snowshoes. There she was. She was perfect. And I, I, I squealed, I must admit. I did, I, I was like a fangirl, um, meeting whatever they, they're a huge fan of. And so I squealed and, um, she, she was just so happy to see me and, um, so, so she was, like, climbing up the cage to see me, and I, like, kneeled down to see her, and she, and I put my face up close to the cage, and she was, like, sniffing my face, and she was hanging around me, and she was so happy to see me, and she had a little brother, um, they weren't really related, but they, but he was black and white, and he was annoying her, he, he wanted me too, but she, she was mine, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't pass her up for anything at all, 
And, um, so we got her when she was only, like, ten weeks old. And now she's a year old, because we got her around November. Around the last week of November, around Thanksgiving. And, um, so yeah, now she's about a year old. And then Ted, he passed away a few months ago. Um, he just disappeared. And he was getting old. And you could see that he was getting cataracts, you know. And, um, he was around 12, 11 or 12 years old. So he just disappeared one day. And my mom's theory is that he knew. So, you know, animals, when they're free, like, like our cats are, um, they'll go away to pass. And, um, I believe that. Because we would have found him if, if he wasn't, you know, he would have come back. So, yeah. So there's a story of my kitties. So now I only have this one kitty. She's a lone kitty. But, you know, we can't get any more until this one's done. I hate to say that. I know that sounds bad. But it's the truth. Um, my mom doesn't want to take care of more than one pet at once. And I really want to get a puppy. But now I can't get a puppy. But oh well. I have all my life to get a puppy. So. Alright. Well, you know, I actually wrote a, a few lines about death. And this was actually written about vanity. And it's kind of weird how deep these words are. But they're written about a cat. So people would think that I'm pretty weird. But, you know, I've seen a lot of death. I've, a lot of my loved ones have passed away. Just Not just cats, human beings. And so I looked deep down inside and I found that and... I found the understanding that I have for death, and I just write it down. So, here's a couple lines that I wrote. It's pretty deep. Death must come. It's not optional. It's a rule everyone follows. You're born, you live, and you die. You might be upset or angry when someone dies, but you must get over it. Nothing can stop death, so don't fight it. There you go. Alright, have a nice day. Have a nice life. Because you never know when it might end. So, have a nice life, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Don't forget to check out my net, my sites, and don't forget to subscribe and all that. Okay, bye.